sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Read them already. Didn't help. Yes. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it. 
Just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. I couldn't play this card there. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. It's some sort of special work order. Whatever you say, Effie. Sir, I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No, 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 no. I don't ride them, just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said. That Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll 
But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Signed. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Kel. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. That won't help it get signed. That won't help it get signed. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. How's it hanging? It's locked. It's locked. Memos are for reading and throwing away. A deck of cards just wouldn't help there. I couldn't play this card there. That won't help it gets not here. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Hey, what's going down, clown? A hey, back off suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Dingo? That's my specialty. Ta-da! Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky?
What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Big Mr. Bossman doesn't want to be disturbed today. 